Hi, my name is Shantaya and I work at the North Branch. Today I have my friend here, Mara, with me and we will be discussing eco-friendly fashion. But first, before we get started, I'm just going to have her tell you a little bit about herself. Hi everyone, my name is Mara. I'm a graduate from the University of Alabama and an eco-friendly fashion designer. I have my own brand called Mara and Mara, which stands for Make Art, Repurpose All, to Love. It is a thrift and upcycle store that I created to encourage people to be more eco-friendly in their life and in fashion. Yeah, so she's definitely helped me out a lot in this area. So hopefully you can find something in this video to help you out as well. And the next one will be a little bit more hands-on, but for the first one, we're just gonna get right into the basics. First, we have some questions for you. Answer them to the best of your knowledge, and during the video, the correct answer will be revealed. You can pause the video if you need more time to come up with your answers. Okay, now that that is done and out of the way, before we can talk about eco-friendly fashion, we have to discuss the biggest issue with fashion, and that is fast, fast fashion. fashion. You're probably wondering, what is fast fashion? Or you've never heard of that term in your life. Fast fashion means rapidly produced cheap clothing that follow current trends. Consumers only see that it's trendy and cheap. However, they do not see that it's actually disposable fashion. Yep, and it basically makes people like you and I buy items at a dangerous rate. Not many people realize the heavy impact that fast fashion has on our planet. It is one of the leading causes of pollution. It's destructive and it just makes the earth dirty. Here are the top five ways that fast fashion threatens our planet. Number one, burning and selling garments. You would think that donating your clothes is just enough. However, even big thrift store brands have to send their clothes to either developing countries or they end up being in a landfills anyway. Number two is creating multiple seasons in a year. There are some fast fashion brands that have 52 micro seasons a year. This means that there's one new collection a week. So that just brings us to number three. Most garments are made synthetically. This means that they have microfibers in them that break down in the washer and they end up going back into the water system. That just means they're not biodegradable. Number four, carbon emission. The fashion industry consumes a lot of energy more than the airline and shipping industry combined. Number five is water consumption. The production of clothing mostly takes a lot of water to create, especially cotton. Can you guess how much water it takes to make one cotton t-shirt? 700 gallons. You heard that right, 700 <laughs> gallons. Not only does fast fashion pollute the planet, it negatively impacts us as well. Here are five ways that fast fashion threatens humanity. Number one, unfair labor practices. Over 80% are women garment workers who have little pay and no living wage. There are even reports that most of the women are abused verbally and physically in these factories. Another thing that fuels the fashion industry is child labor. Number two is poor working conditions for their employees. Most factories do not have the right equipment for the workers. Also, there are even structural damages to the factories. Number three is a cause for health concerns. Chemicals in synthetic fabrics and in textile dyeing can cause allergic reactions. Textile workers are exposed to all the chemicals and in return suffer from the health problems. Number four is knockoff designer ideas, which is both in high fashion and for upcoming brands as well. Number five, fast fashion brands, greenwash. Greenwashing means when they are acting like they are eco-friendly, but they really aren't. Now that we've discussed the downside of fashion today, we can talk about ways you can do your part and live a more sustainable lifestyle. And that is where eco-friendly comes in. Eco-friendly means anything that doesn't harm our environment and that it is renewable and biodegradable. Yes, so renewable just means that it can be naturally replaced, like the energy we get from our sun, wind, and water. Biodegradable meaning that it can be decomposed. Yes. 
Here are some ways you can do your part when becoming more eco-friendly. Start off just by doing your own research. The internet is full of resources. Use it to your advantage. Also, while you're researching, take your time. The brands, the clothes, they're not going anywhere. Just go to their about page, see if they're trying to be eco-friendly. How do they treat their garment workers? I like to think of it as whenever I'm putting my money somewhere, I know that my company or that company is going to be reflecting something that I believe in. Another thing you can do is look at the tags on your clothing to see if it is synthetic or not. And also to find ways to wash it properly to make the clothes last longer. One of my favorite things to do is thrifting. Thrifting is a great alternative to fast fashion and a more eco-friendly way to transform your wardrobe. It is also a great way to help prevent textile waste on our planet. Yes, and there are places you can shop right here in Columbus. Such as Goodwill, Salvation Army, Valley Rescue Mission. And just the other week we went to Joy's Thrift Mall for the first time and it was a really cool experience. Um, there are also some hidden gems on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, one of my favorites as well. Another thing that you can do is upcycle. Upcycling means to transforming your old items and turning it into something new. Yes, just see what can be upgraded. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube, Pinterest, and even TikTok. Overall, we need a circular economy. This means that waste and pollution are designed out. The goal is that everything is reduced, reused, upcycled, and recycled, and not ending up in the landfills. So, choose eco-friendly fashion and a circular economy. Making the transition to being eco-friendly can seem like an investment because it takes so much time and so much work. But just remember, when it comes to taking care of our planet, we have to do our part. Here are some resources to help you on your journey. Okay, so these are just some search box suggestions. Um, there's a couple of websites and some phrases on here just to type into Google um, or whatever your search engine of choice is. But I want to bring attention to the first one, which is fashionrevolution.org. I think everyone needs to start off here. Um, while doing my own research, I found this really interesting book and I want to show you guys how to get there. So once you get to their homepage, just bring up their menu on the top right hand corner. Under about, you're going to click on why do we need a fashion revolution on this page. Just a side note, there is a bunch of information on here. I definitely recommend uh, reading this whole entire page um, as well. But to get to the book that I'm talking about, you're just going to scroll down just a little bit. Um, and it's called Why We Still Need a Fashion Revolution. And it was published in um, April of 2020. It is 60 pages long, but there are a bunch of um, colorful charts and graphs and a bunch of other information um, that goes more in depth to what we talked about today. And I think this resource is definitely going to help you guys out a lot. Um, it is free. I should have said that first. It is free. Um, but I think this book right here is a great starting point. Um, I do want to mention that this website, um, fashionrevolution.org, they also have some other different um, books as well. And once you're done with this one, I definitely recommend viewing the other ones too. They are all free, and I think this is a great um, resource, as I said before. Um, but yes, definitely check this this whole entire website. Um, you will not be disappointed. It is a lot of information, but it's very useful information. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And now I'm just going to put the rest of the research box suggestions on the screen. Lastly, I just want to thank Mara for being here with Aww. us today. Um, we put a lot of work into this video, so hopefully you guys learned something from it. Um, we will see you guys in the next one. We will be upcycling hair accessories. Yes, thank y'all again, and I'm excited for the next video. Yes, y'all soon. One last thing, check these out. So I want to bring attention to these two books that we have in our library. 
The first one is called, Can Your Outfit Change the World? This one looks at how and where clothes are made, how the people who made the clothes are treated, and how the companies who sell the clothes affect the health of our planet. The second one is called Living Simply, a teen guide to minimalism. This one has hands-on activities, how-to tips, and profiles of practicing minimalists. This one also has real-world examples of incorporating minimalism into your life. If you want to place either of these on hold for pickup, simply go to our website at cvlga.org or you can use our mobile app. Type in the title, click on place request, and choose your pickup location and you'll have it in your hands in no time. And again, these two are available in our system for checkout.